So I'll be talking about CSF leak treatment since I've already covered the causes of CSF leak. The first step in treating a CSF leak is to locate the source of the leak with the diagnostic imaging. This can be done with an MRI or a CT or a CT myelogram. Preferred, I think, is CT myelogram. Once the exact location of the leak has been identified, the next step is to repair it. The type of repair needed will depend on that type of leak and its location. For example, a small tear may be repaired with sutures, while a large defect may require surgical closure of the opening. In some cases, a patch may be needed to cover the defect or hole, which may need to be sutured on top of that. In addition to these surgical treatment, further interventions may be needed to help reduce the symptoms such as headache, nausea, vomiting, and other neurologic symptoms. This may include medications to reduce fluid pressure throughout the body. A medicine uh, called DDAVP can sometimes be used and antibiotic for impaired coverage for infection. Finally, some patients may need to take additional preventive measures after the leak has been treated. Uh, for instance, uh, during spinal surgery, if a CSF leak occurs and is repaired primarily with sutures, uh, after the surgery, the surgeon may have the patient be on bed rest anywhere from one to seven days to ensure that the sutures and the graft repair, graft repair is successful.